Hi, I'm Wes. And I'm Amy, and this is Rufus. And we live on our 50 foot narrow boat cruising around the UK Canal Network. In this video, we're going to do a what we eat in a week as vegans living on our narrow boat without a fridge. We thought it'd be interesting to show because we've lived without a fridge now for five months. We do plan on getting a fridge, but we've adapted better than we thought we would. So we just thought we'd film what we eat in a week. We tried to be as realistic as possible with this video. So we filmed just an average week. So we hope you enjoy. First things first, we always have our morning cup of tea. On this particular day, we'd just been to the supermarket, so we were able to have fridge items. So we were having some vanilla flavored Alpro yogurt and some fruit. I re don't really like much fruit on my yogurt, but Wes has the full work, so he has blueberries, strawberries, and some chia seeds. Oh, and raisins. Put a bit of maple syrup on to make it more sweet, and that's it. Breakfast is served. We have a rabbit on board with us, so none of the fruit scraps go to waste, and we give him a few blueberries and raspberries, as well as some leftover reduced greens. There he is, straight to it. So also because we've just been to the shops, we could have something a bit more fridge related for lunch too. So we decided to have some ham sandwiches. So we used the corn ham, chucked on some cucumber, a little bit of lettuce, and of course, plenty of the Hellman's vegan mayo. We find that this lasts out of the fridge for quite a long time and just topped it off with some Violife cheese. and then just had it with a cheeky little apple as well. And of course, more cups of tea. Around 3 p.m. we had some strawberry donuts that we found reduced at the supermarket. We get a lot of the yellow sticker items to save them from going to landfill. So for dinner we had my absolute favorite food, which is homemade lasagna. Wes makes such a good one as well. So I start by just dicing up an onion, chopping up a little bit of garlic, and then just frying that together with a big chunk of ginger that I take out a bit later. So we've been using the Richmond meat-free mince. We find that it holds its form a lot better than a lot of the other vegan substitutes. So we fry that off with some soy sauce, a bit of paprika, some chopped tomatoes and I like to rinse the tins out and chuck that water in to make sure that there's absolutely no waste. And then in with some tomato puree, some pepper, salt, mixed herbs, a bit of stock powder, a handful of bay leaves and then just stir that all through. So one thing that makes my lasagna so special is that I don't use a white sauce, I just use extra cheese sauce. So I start just by making a quick roux with some melted butter and flour and then just slowly add some Alpro oat milk until it thickens. Once the roux's done I throw in some pepper, a bit of salt, a bit more paprika, a bit of soy sauce of course just to give it a bit of saltiness, some nutritional yeast or nooch and then some Violife Mature Cheddar. And then it's time to assemble the lasagna. So I start with a layer of meat, a layer of cheese, and then a layer of pasta, and then repeat all the way to the top, making sure that I've got a meat and cheese layer on top to make sure that the pasta cooks properly. Top it off with a bit more grated cheese, and into the oven it goes. And we decided to have it tonight with some sweet corn and some garlic ciabatta. 
On Tuesday, we started the day with a cup of tea, of course, and then we also had some of this bacon sandwiches. We don't usually have bacon sandwiches throughout the week, but because we'd been to the supermarket, we tend to use the fridge items first, and this is just what we could find. We love this bacon sandwiches because they're just super simple and really tasty. So we just layer up the bacon, and of course have it with some ketchup. What do you prefer, ketchup or brown sauce? We're both definitely ketchup fans in here. So for lunch, we tend to use the leftovers of whatever dinner we had the night before. So in this case, it was our hearty lasagna. So we just heated it up in the oven and then had that in a big bowl. And of course, yet more cups of tea to go on the side. We wouldn't be British without it. So for dinner, we had jacket potatoes, which is also one of our favorite dinners. So we started just by pricking the potatoes, chucking a bit of oil on it, and then sprinkling various herbs and spices on top. Then we just rub all those flavors into the potato and wrap it thoroughly in foil so that we can put it into the very hot stove. So the potatoes then go onto the hot coals in our stove we just rest them on top and leave them in there for a couple of hours. So one of our favorite toppings for jacket potatoes is to take some of the tofu tofu, melt some butter, crumble it in, and just fry that up with some turmeric and some Himalayan black salt, which basically gives it a bit of an eggy flavor. We fry that off, it turns into this sort of yellow scrambled egg looking thing and then put a lid on it so that it steams. Then it's time to take the potatoes out. Unfortunately, we hadn't put enough foil around them so they did burn on the outside, but luckily the potato on the inside was still nice and cooked and fluffy. So instead of eating the burnt bits, we just scooped out what potato there was on the inside. On the side, we just put some salad, so some pepper, some lettuce, and some cucumber, and then threw in plenty of mayonnaise into the tofu, mixed it all up, and then just dropped that on top of the potato. And then to finish it off, we just cut some cress off on top. Later on, we just had some tea and chocolate whilst watching TV. So when we usually get to about Wednesday, that's when we start using our cupboard things rather than the fridge things. So for breakfast, we just had some leftover fruit with cereal and a cup of tea. Because we use long life plant-based milk, it tends to last a lot longer without being in the fridge. We keep it on the floor so it's pretty cold and we get through a carton about once every two days so it doesn't really go off. For lunch, we're just having another classic sandwich. Sandwiches are really easy to just have throughout the week. So this one we're having with some classic vegan mayo and some of our leftover tofu scramble to make kind of like an egg mayo sandwich. And also just topping it off with some cucumber and some of the leftover cress as well. Oops. Later on in the afternoon, we had one of these Alpro sort of desserty yogurt things. They keep really well out the fridge. And we were also near a Starbucks, so we treated ourselves to a little hot chocolate and iced latte. So for dinner, we're just using up the rest of the fresh vegetables in a stir fry. So we start with tons of garlic, a fresh onion, and then a pepper. Just slice it up into thin strips and then fry it all together in one big wok. For later on in the week we tend to use the dried whole wheat noodles so you just boil them in some water for a bit while you do the rest of your vegetable prep.
So when the noodles are almost done, we just finish off the stir fry with a crushed stock cube, a little bit of garlic salt, a bit of five spice, plenty of soy sauce, and a little bit of sesame oil just to top it off. And then we throw in our cooked noodles and top it off with some nooch and stir. And I personally like to put in plenty of spring onions as well, so I just cut them on top. We were having a movie night, so of course we had some Pringles, tea and a mince pie. This is admittedly where it starts to go downhill. We wanted to keep it as realistic as possible, so on this particular morning we just had some chocolate rice cakes because we were super busy and in a rush. And of course, there's always time for tea. For lunch we were also feeling just something very quick and easy, so we just grabbed some instant noodles because you can just chuck them in a bowl cover them with boiling water and leave them for a few minutes and then they're ready to go. I have a lot of meetings during the day at work so this gives us a really good quick and easy meal, especially when we don't have any leftovers from the night before. So by this point in the week, the vegetables are starting to look a little bit sad from not having a fridge, so we use up as much of it as we can to avoid food waste. So on this night, we just boiled up some pasta, chopped up any of the remaining vegetables, so pepper, the rest of the cucumber, and then just a tin of sweet corn. And then we just take a tin of chickpeas, throw in some spices and just mash them up so that we get a tuna-like texture. And we throw all that together in a pot with some salad cream, sweet chilli sauce and mayo which, trust us, is not as disgusting as it sounds. And then just mix it all together. So Friday, Wes had the day off work which meant a day of exploring and activities so for breakfast we had a cup of tea. We were planning on getting something out while we were exploring but we were super busy so ended up just having a late dinner of McDonald's. <laughs> Because we're usually in the middle of countrysides or small towns, McDonald's are novelty treats for us. We all know McDonald's isn't the most filling food though, so about 11 o'clock at night we decided to have some more instant noodles. On Saturday we woke up a little bit late so we went out straight for lunch and explored the town. We love finding local places and we found this amazing one called the Slammage Club that does vegan milkshakes and amazing vegan sandwiches and toasties. It was so good. This is a pulled pork one with the works and a hash brown. We eat pretty well during the week but on the weekends when we're closer to shops we will sometimes treat ourselves to a beige dinner of curly fries and vegan chicken nuggets and then later on just have some crisps with a movie. Sundays are our main cruising days when we are moving the boat so we tend to just have whatever we can grab. We had some chocolate and a drink and then an early dinner of the local chip shop. Another cosy movie night so we had some popcorn as a little snack and of course, rounding the week off with a cup of tea and some biscuits. So that was what we eat in a week. A little bit chaotic and definitely very on brand for us. <laughs> if you are interested in seeing more of these kind of videos, comment down below and we would love to share them. Maybe we can do one when we've got our fridge and we can probably eat a little bit better. I personally really enjoy cooking, so if you did like any of the recipes, let us know if you'd like to see specific cooking videos. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe as we do post bonus videos like this one and weekly travel vlogs every Friday. Thank you, bye! <laughs>